Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Monday, August 26th, 2024. I am Lance Brock. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Hope everyone is having a great Monday morning, wherever you are in the world right now. After one day after all in London yesterday, it was a great day. Hope everyone enjoyed it. I know I did. There is a new episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic available now. Episode 616 from last night. So if you have not heard that yet, go check it out if you are able to. I mentioned this on the podcast last night. I actually thought, just in my opinion, once again, that this year's All In, as great as last year's, was the first one in Wembley Stadium. This year, I thought was even better. Just a great show from top to bottom in my opinion especially the main event with Brian Danielson defeating Swerve Strickland for the AEW World Championship and then celebrating the victory in the ring with his wife Bree with his kids Birdie and Buddy was just a great way to end this huge uh, event. I hope everyone else enjoyed it as much as I did. And I just want to mention one thing, though, that there was one thing that, unfortunately, I did forget to mention I know I do that sometimes. It's old age. And sometimes I don't take good enough notes. So I didn't have that in there. But we saw the return of Daniel Garcia in the match. MJF versus Will Ospreay. And it made sense. MJF was the one who took Daniel Garcia out. So Daniel Garcia showed up in the mask, revealed himself getting some revenge on MJF. I know recently there was some contract talk about Daniel Garcia maybe having some interest in WWE. But appears right now. Anyway, that he is sticking around in AEW. And Daniel Garcia is definitely one of those talents that could be a big star one of these days. And I want to talk about now some of the entrances. Once again, we had Fozzy playing in Wembley Stadium doing Chris Jericho's entrance. And for Swerve Strickland, we had DJ Who Kid, who actually... The only reason I know is because he has made wrestling appearances for AEW and TNA. So I am familiar with him because of wrestling, of course. But the other two um, rap people, I did not know who they were. They did a remix of Swerve Strickland's theme song 
And then, of course, Brian Danielson coming out to the final countdown by Europe. Which I think this is great that he doesn't use it all the time, but he does come out to it for the big matches on the big events like all in and also Mercedes Monet having a big entrance as well and uh, it was at a carriage or a buggy she came out in and Orange Cassidy actually I didn't get what the entrance was at first when I was watching it live but then later I was listening to post wrestling's post show for All In and it was Mr. Bean and I have seen Mr. Bean a little bit when it has been on TV, but I'm going to say definitely not a Mr. Bean expert, but like I said, I didn't get what it was supposed to be at first. And all the other entrances were pretty awesome as well. And the question now, though, is... We know Darby Allen is getting a world title shot at Grand Slam at Arthur Ashe Stadium. But now we also know that Christian Cage has a world title shot for any time he wants to cash it in. He can... So you gotta wonder when are they gonna have Christian Cage cash in that world title shot. And yesterday we saw the AEW debut of Ricochet. He looked great in the casino gauntlet match. I've heard some people say that not really sure if the Casino Gauntlet was the right way to debut Ricochet in AEW since he didn't actually win the match. I understand that. I heard John Pollock on Post Wrestling say that maybe they could have just had Tony Khan or Tony Schiavone announce that Ricochet has signed with AEW and then he would be wrestling his first match Wednesday night on Dynamite. But to be honest, no, he didn't win the match, obviously, but I thought he still looked pretty good. And now it does look like he will be having his first match in an AEW ring this Wednesday night on Dynamite. Looks like he will be taking on Kyle Fletcher, who is a part of the Don Callis family. And also, one time, Will Ospreay a part of the Don Callis family as well. And Will Ospreay and Ricochet have a history together. So definitely wouldn't be surprised if eventually we do see Will Ospreay versus Ricochet in AEW. So overall, I would definitely recommend if for some reason you missed all in definitely recommend checking out the replay 
you won't regret it. And you can go in the comment section right now and let me know your thoughts and your opinions on all in either right here on Spreaker, YouTube, or wherever you listen to 360 Wrestling Podcast at. And that is all for this Monday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. We have Monday Night Raw tonight. And then this Saturday is the WWE Bash in Berlin Premium Live event from Berlin, Germany, 1 p.m. Eastern start time. And I will be back right here once again tomorrow morning for the Tuesday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. So I hope everyone who is listening right now can join me. I hope everyone enjoys Monday Night Raw tonight. And until tomorrow morning, have a great pro wrestling day.